it's July, it's summertime, it's getting pretty hot, so let's take a look at a few cold noodle dishes. Starting with jajamen. Jajamen is ground meat that's been cooked in a black bean paste and served over cold noodles. It has its origins in China in Shandong province, and then it became popular as a Korean dish as well, so much so that I thought it was a Korean dish, and then later Japan. If it's made its way across several countries, you know it's good. So I'll show you how to make it. Let's get started. Let's get started with the garnish. It's typically served with thin strips of cucumber, which provide a refreshing pop of flavor to the meat sauce. To get even strips, I'm gonna cut these cucumbers in half, slice off an edge to stabilize it. Cut through several thin slices, stack them up and cut through into strips until you have a nice plate like this. For the aromatics, we will dice up the mirepoix of Chinese cuisine, garlic, ginger, and green onion. The long green onion we will cut two ways. We will take half of the white part of the green onion and cut it into thin strips, or as thin as possible, setting aside parts that are too green or too thick. Once you have strips like this, drop them into some cold water to chill until serving. This should help reduce some harshness and keep them crisp on the plate. Let's take the other half of the green onion and slice it. Add in the two green or two wide pieces and dice through finely. You should end up with a fine dice like this. Next, I'll dice some shiitake mushrooms, just to give some extra umaminess to the dish. Remove the stems, stack them up, slice through, turn them, and dice through several times until finely chopped. Like this. Before we get out the frying pan, let's talk seasoning. You'll need tobanjan, which is a spicy red bean paste, and temenjan, a sweet black bean paste, which this dish uses a lot of. We have everything ready, let's get out a frying pan and cook! Heat a large frying pan over a medium heat with a little vegetable oil. Add in the garlic and ginger. Give that a brief saute and it should be smelling super fragrant already. We will add in a couple of teaspoons of red bean paste, tobanjan now. It may splatter, so be careful. Time to toss in the ground meat. Pork is typical, but feel free to use what you have or what you prefer. I'm using about 200 grams or about a half pound. Break that up and cook until browned. At this point, add in the chopped green onions, and diced shiitake mushrooms. Stir that all together and let it cook until the onions and mushrooms become soft. Now it's time to add the main flavoring of the dish, temenjan, black bean paste. We'll be using a lot of this, about four tablespoons. Mix that together so everything is coated in black. While that's cooking, let's put on our water for noodles. This is looking great right here, but it's not done yet. We will simmer it with a teaspoon of granulated chicken stock and 150 milliliters or two thirds of a US cup of water. Also to that, add in a tablespoon of sake, chokoshu would also do, and a couple of teaspoons of soy sauce and the same amount of sugar. Let that simmer and let's come back in a few minutes. Once the water has come up to a boil, add in your noodles. I will be using some fresh ramen noodles, but if you don't have fresh, instant will do fine too. Just remember to throw away the seasoning packet, we don't need it. Break apart the noodles as you're dropping them in so they don't stick together. Use some long chopsticks or tongs to make sure they have room to swim. Fresh noodles will only need about two to three minutes to cook, so get your strainer ready. Strain the noodles and a crucial step is rinsing the noodles until cold to touch. This will stop the cooking process. Give them a couple tosses and let drain while we go thicken the sauce. The sauce is looking pretty great and we could just serve it like this if we really wanted to, but signature to this dish is a velvety consistency that can only be achieved with one of my favorite ingredients in the kitchen, starch. Pour over a slurry of starch and water while stirring until your sauce reaches a nice, thick consistency. Okay, only one thing left to do. Grab a plate, give the noodles one last toss. Okay, let me save a little of that for later. Serve the sauce right in the center, cucumbers on top of that, and garnish with threads of green onion. And there it is, jajamen. If you enjoyed this recipe, stay tuned for more cold summer noodle dishes coming real soon. And be sure to check out this video here for more ways to use tobanjan and temenjan. Thanks for watching.